Welcome back to OA Optimism. You aren't causing damage when you're physically active. So let's get active. We have two messages in this video today. It's safe to be active. You aren't causing damage. We've said it before, but it's worth repeating. We need that physical activity because weakness and inactivity are huge risk factors for developing OA and for making things worse. It's also safe to exercise even when it hurts. Let's again quote some researchers. They're the experts here, so let's listen. Progressively implemented high impact and intensive exercise creates enough stimuli and, and exerts favorable effects on patellar cartilage quality and physical function in postmenopausal women with mild knee OA. In other words, physical activity builds up your joints. And for runners, we see something amazing. Non-competitive runners have less knee OA changes uh, than a control group. Uh, and they also have less changes than those who are really competitive runners. And surprisingly, those who run and have knee OA, they aren't making it worse. What if it starts to hurt, you know, when you start exercising? Well, this sucks, but it probably will. Um, you aren't used to it. You've probably withdrawn from activity. And so you might be avoiding the things that are good for you. It's to be expected. You're, you're gonna be sore, um, but you're still safe. We just have to avoid being stupid, meaning some pain is okay and you might have some flare-ups. So let's talk about what you can do. Our simple rule of knowing that it's okay to push into pain is that you find that the pain is manageable. It's acceptable to you and it has to be worth it. In general, we don't want to teach the body or the nervous system to get better at pain. So we have to experiment and find out what is acceptable for you. And that level will change over time. We typically keep poking into pain when the pain is manageable pain. It's about four to five out of 10. That often means you look at somebody and you can't tell that they're in pain. They almost have to tell you that it hurts. It's stable the next day. You know, the pain goes back to its usual amount and they have stable function. You, all the things that you can do, you can still do and it's not compromised negatively. In other words, you try it, it hurts. You persist for a little bit, it could be five to 10 minutes of discomfort, but over a few days or weeks, you feel the same or better meaning you poked into pain and you still end up doing well. You still end up doing the things that you love. So that is success because now you start getting the health benefits of exercise and activity, but we still need to be a bit reasonable here when it comes to poking into pain. So we poke the bear, but don't hump the heck out of it. You might want to cut back temporarily when you feel severe, sharp, unusual pain, pain or swelling that really gets worse than, than what's normal, a large change in your function, meaning you start to decline in what you can do, maybe you limp more than usual, maybe you start hurting somewhere else, that's worth getting checked out, or you're already pushing too hard you're already poking into pain too much. There's a subset of people where we actually want to back off temporarily and then we slowly build back up again. So let's recap. Activity is good. Pain sucks, but it's okay to do things even when it hurts. Just because it hurts, it doesn't mean you're causing more damage. So be active, start doing the things that you love again. Not only is it safe, it's one of the best treatments that we have for you to help yourself. Until the next one, I'm Greg Lehman, and this is OA Optimism.